Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you experiment one uh, for the GCSE chemistry practical, um, which is distillation of ink. The glassware for this experiment is really easy to get. So here we've got a conical flask, which has had a, a, an arm attached to it here. You can see there's a little arm on the conical flask uh, and connected to that arm is a delivery tube. And this delivery tube goes into a boiling tube here and that boiling tube is placed in a 250 milliliter beaker. I'm also going to set a heating apparatus. So here I've got my Bunsen burner, my tripod and my gauze at the top, um, which will help heat the, um, uh, the solution that's going to be in the flask here. You'll notice in the neck of the flask, I have a bung and in the bung is a thermometer and that will enable us to keep track of what the temperature it will get to. Now we need to think about the safety of this experiment. Being so high up, it's actually quite easy to wobble this around and so what we need to do is make sure it's clamped in place. So what I've done here you can see is that I've just clamped it with a retort stand here and that will stop it from being able to be wobbled over. Another safety issue is to prevent it from just suddenly boiling over. So to have smooth boiling, we use these anti-bumping granules, which uh, basically provide a place for the boiling to happen, uh, giving us a really smooth boil. And it means that the glassware here doesn't shake from side to side. Um, and obviously if it doesn't shake from side to side, then it would be less likely to break and smash. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to remove the bung from the top. Uh, I'm then going to get my anti-bumpy granules and you don't need very many, only a few is really needed. And we're just going to place these into the neck of my flask like this. And you can see them at the bottom of the flask now. We're now ready to decant the ink solution into the top. So again, I'm just gonna take the ink solution and we're going to put it into the flask. You don't want too much, maybe enough to cover the bottom of the flask like that. Then just reapply the bung on top and we're ready to start our distillation. Okay, I've just lit my Bunsen flame um, and I did that outside of the tripod. So look, it's not underneath at the moment. Um, you never want to light a Bunsen underneath the equipment that you're using. Uh, just light it outside first of all. Even if it's not on the heat proof mat, that's still kind of okay. Just make sure you, you change it to the flame you're going to be using uh, and move it under as you're doing the experiment. I'm heating a liquid and that means I actually want this to be quite a high power flame. I'm gonna change it to the blue roaring flame uh, and I'm just going to start putting this underneath. And you can see that already we're starting to get a little bit of evaporation happening Keep track of your, um, uh, of your thermometer. We wanna make sure the thermometer is getting to 100 degrees C. Because if the thermometer is on 100 degrees C, then we know that that is definitely water that is being created. Right, as you're heating this, you wanna keep hold of it, moving it very gently and trying to make sure that uh, you're keeping the, the flame pretty steady. Over here, when you're setting up your beaker, make sure that it's filled with iced water, uh, not just pure ice. The ice water is there, so it will improve the connection and cool down. Basically what we're trying to do is heat this up here, try and get the water to evaporate. The water will evaporate, hopefully travel down this orange tube and end up in the bottom here. Uh, I'm going to stop recording now and I'll come back when I've got this on a good boil. You can see here I've got a little bit of condensation on the side of the flask and that means it's almost ready. Um, and if we check over here on my thermometer, it's getting quite high. Um, we've got to about 65 degrees and rising and that means that the vapors are starting to form. So that's really good. When this gets to 100, we know we're getting pure water coming out. Little bit of bubbling happening now, but it's not quite on the boil. I think it's just about to boil though. So I'm gonna take off the heat a little bit, let it calm down for a bit, and then put my flame back on when it starts to cool down. 
We don't wanna keep it boiling, 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 boiling. We wanna keep the boil quite mellow. You can see here as well that the temperature is very, very close to 100 degrees. Here you can see my pure water coming out of the bottom. How exciting. Right, I've just finished my boil. So to prevent this water from sucking back into the tube, I'm just going to remove it from there and we can just let that come out. And now I should have my pure water here. And you can see that's completely changed. We've only got water here and no ink.